Real joy to be here. To see a spirit-filled church in Cambodia, young people serving God, you're on the right track. God bless you. You have a great task ahead of you. Cambodia needs Jesus. And your sign over here says it exactly right. We served God in the Amazon jungles of Peru for 13 years. 13. 13. Yeah. We were preaching to people that had never heard the gospel. And some of them even wanted to kill us. They were tribal peoples. Our children were born there. And today, that work has over 200 churches. Two Bible schools. Radio and TV programs. Radio and TV programs. So we know what it is to be in a hard place. The message this morning is to help you in a hard place. If that is personally, or in ministry. The Bible tells us we live by faith, not by sight. I'm going to share with you about one of God's prophets in the Old Testament. Habakkuk. Now, his problem was this. He was the prophet of holiness. Israel was surrounded by nations that weren't serving God. Some of that sin was infiltrating into Israel. And so Habakkuk goes to God in prayer. And he says in Habakkuk chapter 1 and verse 2, How long, O Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen, or cry out to you violence, but you do not save? It's good. It's good to pray. We should do that all the time. But when you pray, do not make Habakkuk's mistake. He was so sad that he prayed a bad prayer. He 
He says, Lord, what about all this violence and sin? You don't save. You don't help. And so he was praying in such a way because his heart was breaking for his people. Here was his problem. He earnestly prayed to God. He earnestly, sincerely prayed to God. And it did not appear that God heard or answered. Then in verse 3 Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrong? It seems like God is tolerating the sin and the evil. Maybe in his heart he wanted to see the Lord destroy the evil people. We don't know. Don't make Habakkuk's mistake. When you pray, pray with an open and honest heart. Then you must leave the problem or the question with him. You have to remember that God has no emergencies. Some people think God's caught by surprise. When something bad happens to you, one of the angels has to wake God up and say, God, look at that. <laughs> no, 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 no. God knows everything. He sees. He hears. We have to have confidence in the Lord that way. When we wanted to build a Bible school in Peru, we had to buy a piece of land. And when we did that, you had to do it legally. But in my spirit, I felt that something was wrong. Hmm. Something was very wrong. The owner was trying to cheat us. But God has no emergencies. He knows in the future what will happen to you. He knew that I was a foreigner that did not know the law of Peru. But we had made a friend there. He was a colonel in the army. And at that time, the government was very much communist in Peru. The government was communist. The government. Okay, evil, bad government, very bad. Okay. It was a dictatorship. 
But this man in the army became our friend. Let me tell you how you can make friends sometime. He wanted to learn English pronunciation. So we invited him to our home. He wanted to pay me, I said no. But we're going to use my textbook. The New Testament. And I started with him this way. We looked at the Bible. Repeat after me. For God. So love the world. <laughs> I had him quoting the scripture. And after we did this, then he would eat some of my wife's good pies or cakes. So one day he said to me, Pepper, you seem troubled. What's the problem? And I, I told him we're buying property but I think something's wrong he said don't you know my job I said no he told me he was a lawyer. He's the lawyer. A lawyer. He's oh. in charge of legal things. And he said, I am the lawyer over all law in this region. He said, don't do anything that day until I come. The owner of the land and his lawyer and the notary public had made an evil plan. They were going to give me a piece of paper that was worthless and I would pay cash. So that day, the, my friend, the colonel, came to this lawyer's office. He gave me the big hug. Oh, Pepper, my friend, how are you today? <laughs> he came with his uniform. And two military police. He read the document. He said, this is worthless. You're cheating my friend because he's a foreigner. You will make a correct contract or all of you will go to jail. <laughs> and so God has no emergencies. God knows what you have need of before you even know there's a need. This was a lesson Habakkuk had yet to learn. You see, when he questioned God, he wanted an immediate answer. Habakkuk was waiting for an answer 
God was waiting for faith. God was waiting for faith. We want answers to our problems. The bigger problem was in Habakkuk's heart. God's first choice is to solve the problem in here. บาดจมรึติมวยได้พระองค์อาจดอสรายบ่ามันแม่นดอสรายปัญหาในขณะครั้งกอดเด้ปานายพระองค์นั้นดอสรายปัญหาในขณะดวงจิตของกอดจิต
รูปร่างบานเอายืนมีนชันเตะครองการเสมียจัดครองการเจริญรุ่งเดือดรุ่นไอ And as you know sin is in the world เอาลงนะบางบ่อนดังเชียบถ้าตู้แตงปีพบโลกมีนหนุ่มเปิดแบบกาดเจนปีอาสัตว์สไลพิบครองการเสมียจัดบ่อยยืนนั่งไอ He was struggling with that กดกบปงแต่มีนปัญหาประชมอัดจลอัด God you're holy ปังปังบริสุทธิ The world is full of sin And even some of the believers are struggling with sin. Why do you permit that? I s e t e t a m c h o k o p o n g t a i b c h o m m o k n n g p a n y a h a t a n g ani dai. h a i k o p o n g a n u n y a t m i n k a n n g k a t l a n g What Habakkuk needs is not the answer to his question. k a p t c h m l a i d a h a b a k u t r t t u m n m e n c h m l a i c h m p u p a n y a h a t a n g ani t But the solution. To the problem in his heart. ปัญหาดมนอสไรตีมวยนู้คือตระดอสไรปัญหาในขนมดวงจัตวากรจิมุนสัน We have to have faith in the faithfulness of God. จึงตรึกแต่มีนจุ่มเนื้อหายเชื่อทาบระองสมัครรัง Faith in God's integrity. มีนจุ่มเนื้อเชื่อทาบระองจิเปรหได้สัจจะ Your trust must totally be in Him. ยังตรึกแต่มีนจุ่มเนื้อเชื่อตกจัดให้เชื่อตกจัดในเลือพระองค์แต่มวยกุศล Not a person. มันเมนแต่เลือบกโกลนามวยตี Not a preacher. มันเมนแต่เลือเนี่ยแต่พวกไก่บังเรียนนู่นตี In God. ปัญหายังเชื่อตกจัดในเลือพระจีมันจัด When your faith is in Him. นับเป็นแต่ยังมีนจุ่มเนื้อเชื่อเจ้าในเลือพระองค์ And you're walking in His will. ไอ้นับเป็นแต่ยังบันดาตัด All things are possible. Yes, there's still sin in the world. You will face individual problems. But your faith is no longer in yourself. You're trusting God. When God asks you to do something, do it. n ư bề bờ ăn sôm dương, bờ dương, ở dương thưa ai mùi sôm thưa. God's going to ask some of you to do amazing things. Bề kia mà cha, nằng áo dương thưa kết cả đỏ cha. When I was in the lower grades of school, I had a lot of problems. n ư bề đặc sâm riên nơi thân. I even failed one grade. But 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 I even failed one grade. God called me to do a work for Him. And when I obeyed, He did something in my brain. He did. I was able to learn a foreign language. Navigate in areas where foreigners had never gone. But I wrote to the bond ban, the line that just bought the other day to at school. Build churches. But the song from the number of brand. Design a Bible school. Chap down the lab for company. Write the materials for the Bible school. But so say the poor age sad that by took I say read the song the lab for company. Extract teeth. Deliver babies. Pakat kon. Suture wounds. Sew up a wound when you cut. Bad. Check day ke al tiet. Okay, go on. So, God took me beyond my ability. Jeng praang praak nyom huo pi samat apip. And he took me beyond my disability. I prang ko nong kyom ta hu pi away da kyom ax matapip nang dai. He wants to do that for you. 
You will not be limited by your disabilities when you obey God. When you do what He asks you to do. With God, some things are possible. What? No. Most things are possible? No. What does it say? All things are possible. When you are in the will of God, anything is possible. You could grow this church twice as big. Let me give you a challenge. Everyone here, win one person to Christ in one year. One, one, one. Everyone win one in one year and bring them here. You have a whole year to do it. Why can't you do that? Are you afraid? You think, what will I say? Tell them about how Jesus changed your life. Everyone, win one in one year and bring them here. Some of you may do that quickly. Maybe in two months. Well, then don't say, well, okay, I did what the preacher said. So. So I'm just going to sit here now. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you win one by the month of April, if you win one to Christ by the month of April, Win another one. Don't stop. In your schools. Where you work. With your neighbors. Even somebody that you don't like. Or a total stranger. Tell them about Jesus. Because when you get to heaven, the Lord is going to say, Who did you win? Who, who did you introduce me to? And he's going to ask that. When you get to heaven, there will be great joy. If you can say, here they are, Lord. Then you're doing something for all eternity. Not just for today. So you must have faith in the faithfulness of God. 
จึงยิงเตยแต่พินจุ่มเนื้อตกจัดในเลยพระเตยสมศักดิ์ระบบเปรียง I'll give you the example of faith for my of my teacher จึงยมนางเอาที่หอเปียปอนจุ่มนางจุ่มเนื้อปีตามยะครูบอกยม Several times a year he would go to foreign countries to teach ครูบอกยมจราจรน้ำบนกอดบานเตยดับบอลบอร์เตมวยดับใบนางบังเรียน Plane tickets were expensive บัตรยนหันก็เวทลาย One time he did not have the money for the ticket มีนทั้งไงมวยก่อมีนลอยอัดกรุบดับใบหนึ่งติงสมบัต But the Lord wanted him to go ปัญไดพระอังจังเอาก่อตัว He packed his bag ก่อวัดประวัติดักขนมบัลลีไอ้อะไร Now this was in the 1950s before credit cards บ้านนั่งคืนขนมชนะมาปอนปมบัวหน่อยกะอื้อเชียงวัดตอนเมียนน่ะวีสาขาดเครดิตขาดไอ้ที่มาอาจจะลุยมุนบ้านได้ He had no money ก็อดเมียนลุยตัวแต่สา He went to the airport ก็ตื่นดอลล่ะไปเรียนจนฮะ His wife said should I wait ปปนปกอดสุดท้ายตาเอาขยมกูรงจำอ่ะ He said that wouldn't be faith. That would not be faith. Anang men chi chum nư te. No, you go home. Chẳng ta te te. But she said, Walter, you have no money. Bần đây at men loi phang nang. You have no ticket. At men sabot. But he was assured God was sending him. Bần đây God bạch chi a ang đo ham đo chi ta bạch ang nang bình chun nhom oi te. Stepped up to the ticket counter in the airport. ก็โจตาดาก็ไล่ในบรรจุโยสับบัตจนหอนั้ง and as he did ไอ้ทวีจัง a man came running down the 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 hall มันเมียนบารมเนี่ยในตามมาเพลชรอโจนั้ง brother brother I've been trying to get a hold of you มันบอกบอกบอกยำจีมเราบังไอ้ยุ้ย God laid on my heart to give you money for this trip บางปะปะขยำจังไอ้ขยำนั้นปะเตียนปะบังไอ้บังทลายสมัยกาทวีดมหนาเนี่ย he said I'm so sorry, but I'm here now. Nhom nhom xong to, để bọn ai rồi nhom ăn khay ta lấy nhom nơi tin đi hay. And I know that a check is no good now. You needed cash, so here's an envelope with cash dollar bills. Và nhom cất tha bà ao chia sẻ bọn ai bà bà ta đo đẻ mặt mặt đo này nó nè lười sọt mỏng ta cầm ao bà. He opened it. Hãy cất bà mà phấp. Thank you, Lord. Hmm, ao cất bà ăn. He counted it out. He bought the ticket. Bạn chẳng tự đo lại nắng cột đo ơi lùi thay sập bột nắng. Counted it again. Bạn mở thấy rộp lùi một đồng tiền. There was 100 US dollars extra. Nơi sao lùi mà rơi tiền. Bạn mà rơi đờ là nơi sao. Lord, what's that for? Wow, bà ăn. À sao mà rơi nắng tốt thế? And the Lord spoke this to him. Này nít chia vậy đã bảo mình phải bận tu mà cắn cột. You need money for coffee and donuts. Bạn ta mà rơi nắng tục nhâm cà phê hay nhâm nôm tụ nát tư. The Lord is interested in the big things and the little things. Và bà ăn chạp ở râm tiền ca thốm hay nàng ca tụi tụi phong đà. Amen. Now, you can only do that when God speaks. Và chương ai thú ban nữ bê đại bà ăn miên bà bình tù. All right. Let's now go to what God said to Habakkuk. Bạn đã lấy xong mà dừng bàn mở mơ âm pi ở vây đài bạch chim chạm miên bạch bần tu mà can lục hạ bạc cụ. Chapter two, verse four. Từ nước nông hạ bạc cụ chụp bụng pi thọ tị buồn. Read that. Bạn chụp bụng pi thọ buồn. The righteous will live by faith. Ri ai mà nó sợ chết. When you're righteous, you have to live by faith. You don't get all the answers immediately. The just shall live by faith. You You should underline that verse in your Bible. Lúc này bằng một cua tài hai lái nơi kho năng án và mình nút sơ chế rất ruột đời xa chùm nửa. That is very important. Nút xong khăn bên tên. So Habakkuk with all of his questions was learning a lesson. Bạn chẳng xong nút đại hạ bậc cục 
But now let's see what happened. Turn with me to chapter three. Now remember, he had a problem. He was negative about the problem. He prayed. God said, have faith. Usually we think, oh, God's going to solve the problem. Just like that. Sometimes he does. He solved the problem for me in Peru so we could buy the land for a Bible school. But let's look at what happened in chapter 3. Now remember he had prayed and God said live by faith. The people were failing God. Many of them were in sin. He's preaching holiness and they don't repent. He prays. God says live by faith. And what happened? Things got worse. Have you ever had a problem and prayed and things got worse? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's read what the Bible says. Verse 17, chapter 3. The fig tree does not bud. There are no grapes on the vines. The olive crop fails. The fields produce no food. There are no sheep in the pens. No cattle in the stalls. There was famine and drought and problems. ដើមអូលីវលេងផ្ដល់ព្រេងស្រែងចម្ការលេងផ្ដល់ភោគផលជាអាហារហើយលេងមានជាមនៅតាមវាលស្មៅក៏លេងមានកូនៅក្នុង
If you have to keep coming back again and again and again and again for prayer for someone, maybe God wants you to mature to the level that you have faith in Him. When we were in the Amazon jungle early, there was nobody saved. It was my wife and myself. <laughs> there was nobody to pray for us. We had to trust God. When the witch doctor wanted to put a curse on us, Sorry. when the witch doctor wanted to curse us with evil, uh, and when people wanted to kill me one time you cannot let that get you down remember this in the will of God in God's will, you have to get that, you are invincible until God says you're expendable. In God's will, doing the will of God, nothing can harm you until God says it can. Okay. If you can believe that and put your faith in Him, life is much easier for you. Now, Habakkuk had heard from God that word, the just shall live by faith, changed his mind and his heart. And we just read things got worse after he prayed. But read verse 18. Habakkuk, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in my God. Habakkuk's circumstances are not changed. They didn't have to be changed. God changed his heart and his mind. How did God do it? How did God do that? Habakkuk is now anchored in who God is, not only what God does. That's important for you to learn. I want to read you Isaiah 50:10. Isaiah 50 verse 10. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let him who walks in the dark, who has no light, Trust in the name of the Lord. In the beginning, who fears the Lord? That's it's talking to believers. So it's saying that sometimes you and I won't have the answer. It's like, 
It's like walking in the dark. That's what the Bible says. But then it also says, trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon God. And then he's joyful in verse 18. Even when God doesn't give you the answer immediately, or solve the problem your trust is in him not the circumstance and in conclusion finally verse 19 Sorry. verse 19 last verse of the, the the sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. Habakkuk 3, 19. <laughs> Where I live, there are animals like the deer. They're called caribou. I've watched them climb the mountains. They can go the highest places. As they go, sometimes the rocks are falling away. I've seen them run in dangerous places. So the word of God is telling us here. He can make you speak spiritually able to go in the most difficult places. You have to be willing to have your mind and heart changed. The next time you have a problem, go to God in prayer. It's okay to ask him, Lord, what's happening? That's okay. But do not question his integrity. Trust in who he is. Not what he's doing at that minute. Because God knows you personally. He knows your future. I believe in the omniscience of God. I believe in the all-knowing power of God. He knows everything. He knows what will happen to you today, tomorrow, and next year. He has a wonderful plan for your life. Follow him. Obey him. Trust him. Glorify him. You will see some answers to your prayers quickly. And others will take time. Stand with me for a moment. I want to pray for you. Heavenly Father, I pray for this congregation. 
For every person here, many have needs. Some need healing. Others need financial blessing. Some need to find the will of God as their mate, as their husband or wife. And many are asking, what do I do with my life, Lord Jesus? Give these people a new level of faith. To trust in you alone to meet all of their needs. We pray for the pastor and wife of this church and all the leaders in the church that they will be able to accomplish everything in that statement. Help this church to grow. Everyone win one in one year and bring them here. Help the young people to marry the will of God. And bless this church with your presence. Bless this church with healing. With, with strength. And with anointing. Lord, be in every service here. We pray great blessing upon them. And this good interpreter. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.